Let's try this again. Five oh eight PM Tuesday, February second, two thousand sixteen. It's it seventy two degrees outside. The sun gets a warm up. I'm gonna talk about getting aggravated. I know lately it's been kind of a theme. Been mad about stuff, been aggravated about stuff. Um and I started thinking, you know, hey, what's up? You know, what's the cause? What's the deal? There's, you know, something's up. And I started thinking, like, what causes somebody to go from just happy to fuck a lot of this shit? It's like today. It's a Groundhog Day. I love the movie Groundhog Day. Cal Ramis, Bill Murray, Andy McDowell. Straight up, Michael, uh, Michael Groundhog Day, I fell in love with Andy McDowell. That was kind of my girl's crush. That was my style. I, I, my style? Andy McDowell was my style? No, my type. If I were to have a type when I was younger, it would be Andy McDowell. From a very young age, really... Up until how, like the end of high school, different traits that you find attractive over time. But Andy McDowell kind of exemplified that, especially when she was younger, because I was younger, you know that kind of thing. And the character, anyway. Um, now, let's be let's be clear. Andy McDowell's characters she's portrayed have been very just make me fall in love with them, and and not in a let me, you know, let's get it on. But I, I truly, that was that was what I found uh, psychologically attractive. Um, just, you know, and of course, you know, she's gorgeous too, but, you know, but being an adolescent, I didn't realize the difference of what was making me feel attracted. <clears throat> anyway, and Bill Murray, obviously, an amazing actor. Um, Quirky as he gets, I still enjoy a lot of the movies um, that came out of that time period. The you know late seventies, eighties, uh, like early nineties stuff. Um, the SNL, but that movie always made you kind of wonder what kind of person the main character was. It's an everyday person. Then we're, I mean, we're all capable of doing some really horrible things now. At no particular point, like when the character got angry and really upset, he never killed anybody except for the groundhog. It's the only person, the only person he ever killed that we know of, mind you. Um, but he started off being massively selfish and worked that into you know, even worse kind of criminal. Then he decided he's going to get whatever he wants and goes after the one thing that he really does want and he can't have it no matter how hard he tries and so he just decides that fuck it I'm done this is you know because he hasn't tried that yet yeah. um, but anyway that's, that's getting into suicides and I don't want to get talking about that right now um, I've, just, I've discussed that before but and he literally tries every way possible I think after the first time I'd probably just stop. Um, and he probably did. I bet you he just stopped. He just laid in bed and just stopped. You know. Um, but, and then he starts, and then he asks, you know, like, what do I do? You know. And she stays, he basically comes clean with her and talks to her because she's the only one that he knows that he can trust because of how he feels about her and how she is as a person. Um, she's a wonderful individual. So, but, and then of course he just decides, well, I'm going to enjoy life. I'm going to read. I'm going to do all this stuff. And he eventually realizes that there's so much out there, so many amazing things that it just ends it. You know, he's sitting down reading and he hears the piano playing and thinks, you know what? I'd love to be able to do that. That's cool, you know. Um, 
and that's that's awesome. I think that's super. Um, I, and I wish that we could all have that opportunity to go on and, and learn like that. And uh, eventually, he has like the perfect day. He helps everyone. He's, you know, doing what I wish I could do for everybody. You know. I would love to always be there and always have the solution and always have the answer to help everybody, but not do anything for, like, for myself, you know? That's like, I think, and uh, not just becoming altruistic because he's still getting, gaining something out of it. You, you know, the possibility, the, the ability that they're going to be happy and you're going to be happy. That's cool. So, uh, and as long as everybody's happy and as long as, you know, you can do something and do it and that's what he learned is that he could do something and he did the best he could like they're trying to save the old man he realized the futility but he turned that into something else you know he learned more you know he did better i got an attitude and i can be kind of pissy and i get really frustrated with a lot of the little things and they build up and they get really aggravating but i watched groundhog day and I got close to the end of it, and he's like, hey, you know, sorry, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna have to catch a rain check, you know, I got stuff to do. And I suddenly he saved the kid, and all the stuff, and I was just like, in my job, I can help people, you know? Um, and that's pretty cool, and being able to help people is, is amazing, and... Usually when people come in, they come in to be helped, and I'm doing something. This lady came in, she took me to get English, I got her set up with what she needed, I found out what was wrong, um, and I, that made me happy. I overcame something too, a language barrier, which, which was awesome, I thought that was really cool. And I made her, I, I didn't make her feel like, what, what, I don't understand, you know, I didn't raise my voice and ask, like, hey, speak up, I can't, you know, we, we got it taken care of, um, I took care of some other customers with some things that normally it's really kind of difficult to do, but I was like, you know what? I know I can do it, so let's just get it set up. We'll get it done. Now, you know, I got the 8 to 5 going on. I'm, we'll take care of it, you know? You know, have a good day, you know? Uh, that's that's what was awesome. And I'm sitting down, and I'm, I think I'm watching, like, because I have, I have to stop the shows. I mean, as soon as Cuthbert comes in, it stops it hour could go by with a show on pause and then I gotta, you know, I might get back to it. Uh, and I'm watching <sighs> the part where he's, he's with no face and I'm just like, oh, you know, the star, like, oh, this is just so great. It's a great movie. It's a really great movie. Um, and all of a sudden I hear this voice behind me uh, y'all make a key to Ford. Got a Ford, I need, I need a key. And I turn around, and there's this guy, literally this close behind me. And I'm further in the building. I'm further, I mean, I'm in the front area, but we're I'm over in the corner behind the counter, way back, you know, where I can see people when they come in, but, you know, I'm not right up there in front of them. He came in, went behind the counter, behind the register, behind the machines, behind me, and started talking to me. Scared the shit out of me. And I was just like, oh, you yeah, we make keys. What? Uh, what's? What did you lose keys? Like, yeah, I'm gonna, like here's this is where you. And the lady came behind. And she's like, hey, hon, you, you can't go behind the counter. You gotta come running. Like, <laughs> yeah, blood pressure medication. Uh, they changed it over. Is giving him some. Like, is I don't know. He wasn't. He wasn't focusing. Um, not quite sure what the what the main issue was, but she had said that his blood medication, blood pressure medication, was doing something or he hadn't taken it or I'm like and so again I got him taken care of it that's when I first had that flash of what the fuck of, in, of indignation you know and then I'm like oh, okay no the, the guy's not having this man I shouldn't be so pissed off and I had to run out of it and then I started working on something else uh the Captiva and there's some issues with the damn keys and the transponder and trying to duplicate it became a a task it was an issue with trying to get help up front, um, or rather having help up front if something came down, because I was going to be working on this Captiva for a little bit. I get more pissed off at the promise of help that I don't get 
they're not having any help at all. That aggravated me. I really can't stand that. Front, I'm supposed to go stop and go and find somebody? Well, there's supposed to be somebody else up front? You know, no, that, that pisses me off. And uh, you got to be, be who you're going to be. You know, you want to get mad about it, you want to get mad about it. You want to happy about it, you want to be happy about it. But, um, I got very, oh, I got very aggravated about that. And that frustrated me. And it made my goodwill kind of slowly float away. Now I'm sitting here trying to figure out this whole issue with this captiva. Uh, being able to duplicate the keys properly. I figure it out. Um, but I need to call the deal, uh, my, main, my uh, supplier and make sure they've got it. And I call this guy. This guy's cool, man. This guy's having this. He's like, yesterday, man, everything was going great. All the numbers were good. People were sell, sell, sell. You know, doing great today. You know, you walk into my cubicle, I'll snap your head off. You're like, sorry, boss. Uh, didn't know that was you. That kind of thing. You know, you 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 just snap it. Just the just the wrong person. And that's what today's been. I was like, that's yeah, I understand that. So anyway, he was a really cool guy. Um, we got the stuff ordered. The, there's a there's an issue, but I'm not. Uh, I won't know until I see the stuff. And that's basically it. And while I'm also working on the Captiva, not getting any help, this other one of the new guys comes up and he, he picks up this piece of paper that's falling on the floor. And he comes to me and he doesn't really know personal space. So, so he's like holding this piece of paper up to my face. And this probably from my face. He's like, is this something important? And he's a good guy. He's a really good kid. But, uh... And I was like, no, don't need it. Not, not mine. Does it have anything to do with me? I didn't stab at him, didn't yell at him. But it was kind of like, nope. Fuck up. So, play it like, I, you can have the greatest day and it just... And you gotta try sometimes. Ow! God damn it, Jinx. Hello, Jinx. Say hello to my little friend. Not gonna say hi to the fans. There you go. Hi, Jinx. Yeah, he, something messed up his got in his eye. I think he got mm, beat up by a raccoon. But he's good. He's good. That little one over there is Lucy. Anyway, but she makes us happy. So does Jinx. He's a good boy. Um. Anyway, that's like you try so hard to be happy, and you can do anything. I mean, just anything. But I felt so good being happy and just took these little petty, little tiny, teeny things that just turned me to, like, I, I took care of a customer. I was really good. I came back in. You know, people are working on a customer, and all of a sudden, this one customer who's getting taken care of leans over to me and says, oh, by the way, uh, here, make a copy of that. You know? And I'm just like, grabbed it from him, handed it to the other guy who was free, standing right next to him, and said, hey, one copy of that. Okay. And then went on so i did something in response it's not it it shouldn't be like that but that's that's kind of how it is and we all have our own ways of of dealing with these kind of things and i just wish that everybody could have a good day and be happy that they really make a difference in somebody else's life and uh as much as i hope that i'm making yours so yeah uh, this is the wolf, and I'm wishing you health, wealth, and love, and I hope that you have enough time and gusto to enjoy it. So, let me check my time, check my time, right up in the face, my eye sockets.